Peer mediation helps me by being a better student because I want I want to spread joy so they so others can have happiness like I do. At PHA, we are deeply committed to disrupting the school to prison pipeline through the use of restorative practices. The school to prison pipeline has been fueled by zero tolerance in schools for the past 20 years. The zero tolerance attributed to more than one third of boys of color in particular being suspended on an annual basis. As a result, one third of those boys are often sent to juvenile centers. With restorative practices, we put relationships at the center that involves getting to know the students and connecting with them through various venues such as advisory, Sankofa, as well as culturally relevant pedagogy where our students are learning about themselves and we are learning about our students in a way that is culturally relevant um, through text and experience and their interest. We think about developing strong relationships with our students, but also among faculty, with our families, from student to student. And we think about those relationships in terms of high levels of support matched with high levels of accountability. If and when something does go wrong, they have those tools and we can go to them for intervention or to restore and rebuild the relationships. So when you have a problem with the other person, you can tell a teacher if you wanted to get peer mediated. And if you get peer mediated too, peer mediators are going to help you solve your problem. So that, so that can make your, your time at school happier. So you won't have that much conflict. It helped me be a better student because I'm able to help other people and also help myself. One of the ways that teachers address harm in the classroom is they may ask a student to take a break have a time to reflect and think about what happened before rejoining the group. Another way is by students being able to talk to each other, and we call that a peace talk. So the students engage in a talk using I statements, and they both have a time to talk about what they felt happened. If the teacher is noticing a consistent problem, they might um, have an opportunity to pull the student and have a problem-solving conference. So the goal is that we are graduating students who are both academically prepared for success in college, but also prepared with all of those other skills that we as adults in the world know are super important. The mentoring program has helped us become closer to one another and more accepting. Usually the stigma in high school is that there's the seniors and then there's the freshmen and that there is a really big divide. I feel like it allowed everybody just to come together and realize like we actually are a PHA family. If you need help today, I can help you because I've gone through the same thing that you went through. And it doesn't matter that you're in the 10th grade or you're in the 9th grade. It matters that like you're a human being. And at the end of the day, we're all just at PHA. So let's just all help each other. We also are an entity that believes in the power of conversations. In our restorative practices, in our restorative conferences, we try to let them feel like they're being heard. We want to make sure that um, students here are able to go to their class and feel safe and that the other students feel safe. And so restorative justice is big here because um, everyone walks around knowing that we're a small community and so we build better connections than other schools. And so you have this step-by-step -step process before going on to suspension as another school because they don't have the restorative justice that tight community we have here. I count everybody here as family. Like I look out for everyone. And they they motivated me to stay. We are out of Sankofa. 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 Sankofa.